All right, what's up, Amaya? And today I will show you how to fix your OBS Studio problems. So I have updated my OBS Studio to the latest available version, and I found this. Whenever I start recording, it gives me this output failed error. It says there is something wrong with my NV encoders and AMD encoders, something like that. But in the logs, you see it was working fine previously, but when I update it, it stops working. So I found a way to fix it. There is really no other way to fix it except that you downgrade from this 30.1.1 version. So when I check for new, it will give me stuff like what's new. So today I'm going to show you how you can fix this for yourself as I have fixed it for myself. So all you need to do is to close it off. Close your OBS studio and then go to your settings, your windows settings. Uh, yep. Where is the control panel? Go to your settings, apps and features. I'm going to show you right now how to do it again. Go to your settings. Here you can see there is an apps section. Go to your apps and simply just find your OBS studio and uninstall it. That's right. We have to uninstall OBS studio. And make sure you remove everything including the settings and other stuff like that. So when you have uninstalled OBS Studio, simply go to your browser. Like I'm here. Now you can see it is now deleted and there is no only shortcut available. So go to your Google and search for OBS Studio GitHub. And make sure the GitHub page is right there. Because if you go to their original website, you will not find any previous versions and you will not be able to fix your OBS Studio problems. So go to the releases pages and scroll down and find the latest 21 version. Do not download the 30 version because the 30 version is an updated version and which update causes errors and does not start recording on low end devices like mine. So we're gonna go scroll down and we can't find the 29 version here. So I will be going to the next page and scrolling down Here is the 30 beta one. Here you can see we have found the, this is the 30 version, 30 beta one. And right below that there is an, you can see here are some new features removed that caused the OBS Studio to not work on older devices. So this is the 29.1.3 version. I'll make sure to link this in the description so you can find it easily and download right from there. So after you have found this version, simply scroll down and here you, here you will see the assets page. And if you are using a Windows device, you need to download the first one. If you're using Mac OS or other stuff, the links are given in the, below. So I am using Windows, so I will be downloading the Windows version, x64 bit, and yep, I used Ventura previously. Okay, all we need to do is wait for the download to complete, and then we will install it, and I will show you if it's working correctly or not. Let's wait for it. Okay, now the download is almost complete. Actually, it is now complete. And now here we go. Now let all we need to do is just open it up and install OBS Studio as normal. We need to say next, next, and install. Wait for the installation to complete. Now let's finish it.
and also we need to launch OBS Studio it will launch itself okay now here is the auto configuration wizard we need to select if we are gonna be using it now so if it gives you an update just simply skip the version like this we do not need to update it now or also we do not want it to remind it so I will be mostly recording so I will not be streaming so I'll be selecting the second option then gonna hit next and I will keep this as default I should not change it neither should you so click next and these are the settings and we need to apply those settings here we go we have dealt with the auto configuration wizard the first thing we should do is to go to the settings like here and turn off this automatically check for updates on startup and hit apply this will no longer check for updates and will never say that we need to update anything at all so let's double check it you can see that automatic check for updates on startup is disabled anything else is fine do not need to change that so we need to add a source I'm gonna be adding my desktop display capture here I need to change my capture method to Windows 10 lock the screen now I can see it is now I have started the recording it is now recording normally and is not giving me any errors so I'm gonna stop this recording and see if it is working the recording is saved in my window videos folder so I'm gonna go to my file explorer videos here you, here you can see the recording is saved and is working perfectly fine and this is how you fix your OBS studio problems if it is giving you these problems of NV coders or AMD encoders simply just downgrade and download the OBS studio from the link given in the description I will provide this link so you can find it easily and do not have to do this matter the long way so subscribe if you want to see more tips and tricks and more fixes like this and I will catch you in the next one take care goodbye